Good morning. Father, I give you thanks and praise for a new day. I thank and praise you, God, that you have chosen to awaken me again. And I pray, God, by day's end, that I have somehow, some way, made it worth you waking me. God bless me to move in this day in constant communication with you, move with purpose and intent, driven by the Holy Spirit. Even as I am up after, I don't know, it's about 4.30 a.m. and that you're speaking to my spirit, God bless me to continue to move in obedience to you, that your people would be blessed and that you would get the glory. What you're looking at right now is a video called Outdoor Therapy on YouTube. And this is a Scottish town. It's a thunderstorm and it's super soothing. Um, today's Forged in Fire message is waiting in anticipation of God's blessing. For those of you who are new to the channel, thank you so much for coming by. I pray that something here will bless you. Something will motivate you, inspire you, give you hope, uh, make you think about where you are and where you want to be, especially in God. And know that this is all Holy Spirit driven. It's not me, it's the Holy Spirit. And I thank God for that that the Holy Spirit would be willing to dwell within me and to utilize me as a vessel to speak to God's people. So this has been a rough couple of months. But I've been watching in the midst of it, God do things, especially when I get out of the way, that I could never have imagined. And... It's like he knows if she would just get out of the way, I can do things she cannot do under her own power in a human form. I can do the supernatural. I am the supernatural. I can move and do things she cannot. So I thank God um, for just for so many things. But I woke thinking about waiting in anticipation for God to do something. On Sunday, I was sitting in my car and there was something I knew that I needed, that I didn't have, and I had no prospect of getting there. And, you know, not always talking about something like in the physical, like money or clothes or something like that, but there was something that I lacked and I knew it. But I knew I needed it, but it was nowhere to be found. And I watched God make it happen. Not only make it happen, but he went exceedingly and above anything I could have imagined. And it drew me back to a story I heard when I was a child from a deacon who was testifying during devotion time in my church. And he was talking about when he was young, he said there was an occasion where they had no food, there was no money, and his mom set the table for dinner. And he couldn't figure out why. And she said, you know, go wash up for dinner, and she set us all down, and there was no food on the table, nothing cooking in the pots, there was just nothing, but she called them to the table. And then there was a knock at the door. And it was a neighbor. And the neighbor said, sorry to bother you, something like that. You will not believe I cook so much food. And then there was, you know, it was just me and whoever else. And I, way, I cook way too much. And I was wondering if you wanted it. Well, not only did they get fed, but there was leftovers. His mother set that table in anticipation of God providing a meal for her family. And he did. And he went above and beyond. And that's what God does. So my question this morning to you. 
are you setting the table with anticipation and for what? And that's your question to answer, to think about, to meditate on, and to pray about. But do you set the table in anticipation of God doing what he, what you need or giving you what you need? Do you do that? I hadn't thought about it, but in that moment when I, I literally didn't say very much other than, God, you know what I need. If it is your will, please make it happen. That's really all I said, because I didn't know what else to say. And he provided, and he showed me bounty and favor above and beyond what I asked for. And he won't do for me what he won't do for you. He'll do for you what he did for me. I think that sounds better. What are you setting your table in anticipation for? Will you just set the table and wait on him with praise and thanksgiving, knowing, knowing, truly knowing, without hesitation, that he is going to provide whatever that meal is that you need? Anyway, I wanted to thank God today for so many things. But I sit again in expectation of what he'll do with me today because he woke me up so I have purpose. And I pray that by day's end that I will have somehow fulfilled some of that purpose in some way, shape, or form. Because I never want there to be a day where he wakes me that feels wasted. Like there's nothing wasted with him, but I don't want to waste the time he's given me. Set your table. Give thanks. He's not only going to give you what you need, but he's going to go above and beyond for you. Anyway, great thanks to all who subscribe to my channel, who have supported, those who have commented, those who have prayed for and with me. Please know that I do not need to know you to let you know that I love you with no strings attached. I love you because you're God's child. I love you because even in the natural, we are brothers and sisters. And I love you. And I pray God's best for you. If you're new to the channel and Forged in Fire sounds a little weird, it's just the season I'm in with God. He's taking me a piece of metal that may be a little gnarled and bent and seemingly doesn't have any purpose. And he's placed me in the fire like a blacksmith would. And I know that the outcome will be amazing because I'll be functional. I'll be Holy Spirit led and God ordained beautiful, useful strong anyway please enjoy an amazing amazing day on purpose and with purpose until next time thank you for being here